Oh, what's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm giving you guys my 5 favourite auto rifles from the game below DLC. But before we get into the video, can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy daily Destiny content, be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video out with a like, I do appreciate the support. Let's try and reach 3000 likes, that would be flipping insane if we could. Now starting at number 5, my 5th favourite auto rifle in the game is the hard light exotic now this is on a lot of people and in a lot of people's opinions isn't worthy of any top five it's just it's just terrible in a lot of people's opinions i actually think uh, bungie have turned this weapon around with the 1.1 patch i mean i did use it a little bit before the 1.1 patch before they buffed it and it was out of control it just it was just a horrible weapon to use and i could understand where people were saying it was a terrible weapon but after the 1.1 patch the weapon has reformed its former glory because when this game first came out, and a friend of mine, he's now one three three seven, actually on this unlocked this weapon. Sorry, in the first couple of weeks, and he said it was an absolute laser beam. It was so accurate, it was powerful, it shot fast, as you can see by the uh, fire rate. It was an unbelievable beast. But they actually nerfed the weapon. I think it was the one point zero point one or zero point two patch. Uh, they nerfed this weapon, and the stability went horrible um, on all auto rifles, but. Furthermore, on this one, now they've sort of fixed it, they've nerfed this weapon, well, they've buffed this weapon, sorry, in the 1.1 patch, and the weapon is an absolute tank. If you guys have this in your vault or saved up anywhere, try it out, level it up and try it out. I guarantee you won't be disappointed, and I mean, the weapon just looks insane by itself. Um, it's got a few standout mods, it's got glass half full, the bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. It's got uh, volatile light rounds fired from this weapon, over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces. It's got quick draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Fitted stock increases weapon stability, making this weapon stability basically right the way up, it's about a centimeter off. And it's also got fuel scout, maximum ammo, ammo capacity. It's already got 40 bullets in its magazine. It doesn't really need more. I'm curious, I haven't actually unlocked this yet. I'm curious to see how much this takes it up to probably about 50 it's still a beast the weapon's a beast and that's why it's at my number five spot in at number four is the vanquisher eight which is a new monarchy auto rifle now this and a couple of others that are on my list are actually basically similar weapons or differing in certain little aspects which i'll talk about when i get to it but the vanquisher is a beastly ass auto rifle the only problem i have with it is its magazine size its magazine size is 22 uh, i know it can be rewarded one of these and it's got more uh, it's got a better clip basically i haven't got that one unfortunately and that's why it's at my number four spot but it's got glass half full the bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage it's got perfect balance which basically almost takes the stability right the way up but its range goes down hammer force which is the one i used improved range and accuracy it's also got Single point sling, switch weapons faster, move faster while aiming. It's got feeding frenzy, kills with this weapon, increase reload speed for a short time. This weapon would be fair run up in my list if it did have a bigger magazine size. It just hasn't, and that's why it's at my number four spot. But it's still a beastly ass auto rifle, and this would be at uh, a lot of people's number one spot in the top five auto rifles in the game, I can guarantee it. Now, in at my number three spot is a Grim Citizen. Now, the Grim Citizen is a crucible weapon, one you can buy from the Crucible Quarter Master. This is a great great weapon don't get it twisted i know a lot of people will be saying it should have been at number one um i don't think so uh, two weapons i've got that are above this in my opinion are a lot better this is a great weapon though one i used for quite a while in pvp and i absolutely wreck people with it it's super accurate i mean the stability ain't right the way up but it is super accurate um it's got a great magazine size of 26 could do with a little bit more but it's still a very powerful headshot machine it's got persistence this weapon goes more accurate the longer it's fired which really does work it's got flared mag roll reload this weapon even faster lightweight when how this weapon grants plus two character agility and it's got single point sling switch weapons faster move quicker while aiming i use lightweight um Fled Magua reload faster isn't really an issue for me, it reloads pretty quick anyway. And then we have spray and play, increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. And I only really reload when the mag's empty anyway. But the Grim Citizen 3 is a beastly ass crucible auto rifle, one worthy of anybody's top 5, uh, but it's at my number 3 spot. In at number two is the Shadow Price Vanguard Auto Rifle. This is a lot like the Vanquisher and a lot like the Grim Citizen, but in my opinion, 
a little bit better. I mean, I do like the scope of this for some reason as well. Uh, even though the scope's a lot like one of the other two, I can't remember which one it is, but it is a great sight. Um, it's got grenade here, kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. It's got perfect balance, which makes stability go right the way to the top. Uh, hammer forge, which I don't use. Uh, armor piercing range, which I don't use because I do use that perfect balance. And as you can see, the stability is fill up. I mean, there's no recoil on this whatsoever. It is, if you aim for somebody's head, every bullet will hit their head it's got 25 bullets in its uh, actual clip a little bit i think it's one bullet less than the vanquisher but still it's still a beast less weapon one that you will own people with in pvp i can guarantee it now there's one you can actually be rewarded which has 44 bullets or 40 bullets in its magazine which is one i wish i actually had that would probably win this top five if i had it but i haven't unfortunately and that's why the shadow price is at my number two spot but it is an all-round monster PvP and PvE weapon, probably the best legendary auto rifle in the game pre DLC, and that's why it's at my number two spot. But the winner and my number one favorite auto rifle in the game has got to be the Suros Regime Exotic Auto Rifle. Now, this weapon everybody's got to agree is an absolute flipping animal in both pve and pvp this is the first weapon i look for when doing a raid doing nightfall doing pvp doing anything this is the first weapon i look for i mean it's just an absolute monster you can see the fire rate is quite the quite the way up i mean that shouldn't be reduced i mean because it's got a perk called or a mod called focus fire when zoomed this weapon's fire slower but causes additional damage so the fire rate really shouldn't be right the way up um but it is a monster it's so 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 powerful it's got no recoil the, the setup i use there's no recoil whatsoever you can hit people using sniper rifles scout rifles across map and you will kill them before they've even seen you it's just ridiculous and um, it's got another mod called two strategy in the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return half when dealing that damage uh, i actually used hammer forge improved range and accuracy i mean it does take the range a lot further up um i use smart drift control because it does increase the actual uh, stability quite a lot I mean you can have a lot more impact and uh, range but I'll just go for that stability because an accurate weapon will easily outdo even if it's weaker will outdo a more powerful weapon in my opinion um, and especially if you've got good accuracy with a weapon as well you will just absolutely wreck people I do with this and a lot of people do too a lot of people claim it's overpowered in the hands of the right person it's definitely overpowered the suits regime is a worthy winner of anybody's top five in my opinion definitely the worthy winner of my top five uh, but guys that is the end of my top five auto rifles if you had to pick five auto rifles what would be your five leave a comment down below in that comment section i uh, hope you enjoyed the video do drop a like i do appreciate the support don't forget this is my opinion guys i know opinions differ but this is my opinion hope you appreciate it thanks always for stopping by and peace out until next time peace